Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with a hockey game for you, Card and Dice, another hockey game. I love the hockey games. And uh, today's hockey game is going to be between two very good teams from the 2022-2023 season. And that will be from the Western Conference, the Edmonton Oilers, who in the 2022-23 season were 50, 23, 0, and 9. And the Vegas Golden Knights, who were 51, 22, 0, and 9. So two very closely matched teams record-wise. Again, last year was a season where there was epic goal scoring, so I expect to see a lot of goals this game. And um, I will, and as for housekeeping, I will go over the lines as the lines come out. And uh, there are two comments I want to nip right in the bud right now. If you're a fan of one of these teams and you say, hey, this guy doesn't play on that line for this team. Well, too bad. In my game, he's playing on whatever line. The other thing I want to say is, if you can't see the cards or you can't see the dice rolls or there's something you can't see, that's just how it is. I don't have a camera. I have a camera phone. So, uh, you know, without a high-tech camera, it's hard to get a good view of everything and all the cards and everything else. So you're just going to have to take it at face value that what I say happened, the dice rolls that I say happened, the card readings that I say are uh, on the cards are really true because I'm really not smart enough to make up what the cards said when they, you know, and say that they said something different. So Tonight, so with that out, out of the way, tonight's goaltenders will be Stuart Skinner for the Edmonton Oilers. Stuart Skinner had a 913 save percentage in the 2022-2023 season. He played 50 games. And for the Vegas Golden Knights, it will be Logan Thompson. And Logan Thompson played 37 games. And he had a 915 save percentage. So both goalies are pretty evenly matched. For the um, Edmonton Oilers, the homestanding Edmonton Oilers, the front line will, the starting first line will be Zach Hyman at right wing, or at left wing, Connor McDavid at center, and Kaler, Kyler Yamamoto at right wing. For the starting front line for Vegas will be Jonathan Marsh, Marsha Show, Marsha Show. <laughs> the center, <laughs> the center will be William Carlson and the right wing will be Ivan Barbashev. The starting defensive blue line matchup for the Edmonton Oilers will be Brett Kulak at left defenseman and Cody Ceci at right defenseman. For the Vegas Golden Knights, it'll be Braden McNabb at left defenseman and Zach Whitecloud at right defenseman. And so, with all of that out of the way, I think we are ready for the puck drop. So we're going to roll the dice. And again, for the face-offs, I use the advanced chart, but for everything else, I use um, the basic. So that is a roll of 12, and um, that is, let's see. Okay, yeah, we have to get the face off. Carlson is a plus three, and McDavid is a plus two, so that makes Carlson a plus one. 12 plus one is superior any player. So we are going to give the puck to start. Um, to William Carlson. So he wins the face-off. He's got the puck. We will pick the card. Now, again, Vegas is the visitor here. And that says, lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. So that is 
Brett Kulak, he has an outside shot. Um, I am going to say he's a penetration two. So I'm going to say he's going to pass the puck. And the passing uh, section says passing K. And that says lose puck to the center. So William Carlson ends up with the puck back again. And we will pick the next card. And Visitor says, outside shot for right wing. Now, the right wing is um, Ivan Barbashev. He is a penetration three. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to try to penetrate with him. So let's see. Do we do that? Um, yeah, we do that with the 20-sider. 13, I don't think he did it. Uh, no, he did not do it. So he loses the puck to the left wing, and that is Zach Hyman. And we will pick the card for the home and look at that. And it says outside shot for um, right wing. So that's Kimer, Kyler Yamamoto has an outside shot. He is a penetration three. We'll try to get inside with him. He does get inside, so he has an inside shot. And that is an eight, and eight is going to be a rebound. We'll pick the card and look at the rebound section. And uh, the rebound section says offensive right wing if rating two or more. And he does have a three rating, so he does get a rebound shot. And that is an eight, and that's going to be a rebound. So we'll pick another, and we can <laughs> He's got, they're using, uh, they're using Logan Thompson as a pin cushion here. He's getting, he's having to knock a lot of these away. Uh, rebound says defensive center if defense rating is three or more. That's Carlson and his defense rating is only a two. It would be a three if they were on the power play, but they are not. And so, um, let's see. If not, opponent has a rebound shot. So um, I guess that means uh, y Yamamoto again. Or wait a minute. No, no. Um, it would be across from him. It's McDavid. McDavid with the rebound shot. And that's another rebound. <laughs> we can't get out of this. We can't get away from the rebound. Offensive left defenseman if rating is two or more, and uh, offensively he is, so that's Brett Kulak. So now Kulak has a breakaway or a rebound shot. It's the same thing, same column. That is a four. That's a goalie rating, and we're going to look at Logan Thompson, and that's a five, and it's a save any forward. So finally, Thompson makes the save and kicks it out to somebody that um, – you know, that's on his own team, and we'll give it to Carlson. So the Golden Knights have the puck, and the um, reading for them is opponent defense 12. So Connor McDavid's 12 is take the puck away. McDavid taking the puck away. We picked the uh, card refer to home, and it says opponent defense 12. So Carlson's defense 12 is he takes the puck away. Going a little back and forth, a little, a little tennis game here. And then uh, visitor says um, if the defensive guy across or the uh, the penalty rating across from him is anything but a C or a D, but he is a D, so he takes the puck back away. But the lines are going to change, and so with the offensive lines changing, we will let you know who those who those are. Um. The offensive line for the new offensive line for the um, Edmonton Oilers is Ryan Nugent Hopkins at left wing, Leon Dracetil at center, and uh, Clem Costin at right wing. And Dracetil has the uh, has the puck, um, or Dreisaitl. I'm sorry, I mispronounced. I know somebody pointed out to me that I mispronounced his name once, so it's Dreisaitl has the puck, and we will uh, pick the card, and um, home says lose puck outside shot for right wing. Now, the right wing, the new right wing is, and I should go over that because I didn't do that for Vegas, the new left wing is Michael Amadio, uh, the new center is Nicholas Wah, and the new right wing is Riley Smith, and Riley Smith is now the guy who has the puck, 
he has an outside shot, but he's a penetration four, so they will try to move him inside. And he does get inside, and he'll take the inside shot, and it's a four on inside shot, and it's a save any defensive player. So um, they'll give it to um, Dreisaitl. He's got the puck. And uh, that says passing K. Passing K is an inside shot for the left wing. So that's Ryan Nugent Hopkins with an inside shot. That is going to be an eight. And eight inside shot is a rebound. We got another rebound. <laughs> Let's see if the uh, Thompson can kick it out a little quicker than, than he did the last time. Offense, any player with an offense rating of four. Well, that's definitely going to be um, Dreisaitl. And he'll take it. I was going to say Connor McDavid, but he's off the ice now. He gets a six. And six on uh, inside shot is, or on um, a, re a rebound shot, is a goalie rating X or a cross. Which means it would only be on a power play. And so, um, since that is not a goal, I am going to say that we will... Um, that uh, the goalie covers it up, and there's going to be a face-off. So we will do the face, the new face-off. It's a 10. Um, and uh, Wa is a face-off plus 1. Dreisaitl is a plus 3, so it's a plus 2. Plus 2 on a 10 face-off is... Um, Superior right wing. So it goes to Clem Costin. Clem Costin has the puck for the home standing Edmonton Oilers. And it says lose puck outside shot for center. Wa is the out, is the center. He's going to pass the puck. And he does a pass and it is passing J. Passing J is inside shot for right wing. So that goes to Riley Smith, who now has the inside shot. That is an 11 inside shot. It's a save, and the left defenseman comes up with it. So that's Brett Kulak, and um, we pick the card, look at home, and it says passing L, and he loses the puck to the left wing. So Michael Amadio has the puck, and there's going to be a defensive line change right now. So that means that for Vegas, we're going to send out, we're going to see Alec Martinez at left defenseman and Alex uh, Petrangelo at right defenseman and for the um, uh, Edmonton Oilers we're going to see Darnell Nurse at left defenseman and Devon or Evan Evan Bouchard at right defenseman but right now Amadio has the puck and um, that says opponent defense 13 so Clem Costin is across from him he has he says it says outside shot Amadio has an outside shot, but he's a four penetration. He'll try to get in. He doesn't get in. And so that Costin has the puck. We'll pick the next card. It says opponent defense 13. So Amadio's defense 13 is outside shot. Costin has an outside shot. He is going to pass the puck. I'm going to say he passes it. And um, passing against even, lose puck to opponent. So he is going to lose the puck to Amadio. Amadio has the puck. And uh, for uh, visitor, it says passing K. Passing K is lose puck to the center. So Dreisaitl has the puck. And home says possible breakaway. Um, so we'll look at the breakaway section, pick the next card and look at the breakaway section. Right wing, if breakaway penetration is a three or more. And uh, it is. So that's going to be, be Clem Costin with a breakaway shot. And he gets a 10, and a 10 is going to be lose to the right wing. So Riley Smith now has the puck for uh, Vegas. And that says lose puck outside shot for left wing. So Ryan Nugent Hopkins has an outside shot, but he's a four penetration. He'll try. He does get inside. So he works his way inside. We'll roll the dice. And it's a five. It's a goalie rating. So we're going to look at Logan Thompson, and we're going to roll the bones, and it says face off. So 
no gold there. We're going to uh, roll the dice for the face off. Four, it's a four plus two, which is superior right wing. So the right wing is going to, um, right wing for Edmonton is going to have the puck. And that is Clem Costin. He comes away with it. And um, it says, lose puck outside shot for left wing. Left wing is a mighty, uh, um, Michael Amadio. He has an outside shot, but he is a four penetration. He'll try to get inside. He does. We'll roll the dice on the inside shot. It's an 11. It's a save defensive center. So Dreisaitl comes away with the puck, but we're going to get a forward line change. And so we're going to have new lines out there uh, for Edmonton and for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. And for the Vegas Golden Knights, the new line, the new front line is going to be William Carrier at left wing, Jack Eichel at center, and Mark Stone at right wing. And for, oh, I got the wrong, I don't have the offensive line out there. Let's see. And for Edmonton, the new front line is going to be Ryan McLeod, Warren Fogel in, uh, at center, and Matthias Janmark will be the right wing. And right now, Warren Fogel has the puck for Edmonton. And uh, that says lose puck outside shot for opponent. So um, let's see. He's got that loses it to Eichel. Eichel is a four penetration. He'll try to get inside. He does. Inside shot nine is going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it. That's Matthias Janmark for Edmonton. And it says passing L, which is lose puck to the center. So Eichel picks the puck back up, and it says possible breakaway. We will pick a card and refer to the breakaway section which says left wing if breakaway penetration is two or more. And it is, and that's William Carrier. So he's going to have a breakaway shot. That is a seven. Seven on a breakaway is a goalie rating. We're going to refer to Stuart Skinner on this one. That is an eight, and an eight is a rebound. So we're going to get a rebound. <laughs> a lot of rebounds in this game so far. Um, and that says defensive right wing. So... Matthias Janmark comes up with the puck for Edmonton. Home says outside shot for any player. They're going to give the outside shot to Fogel. And he is going, he's just going to take the outside shot. And that is an 11, which is going to be a save in the left wing. So the left wing comes away with it. That's Carrier. And, um... It says opponent defense 14. That's Matthias Janmark's defense 14. Outside shot. Carrier has an outside shot. He has a penetration four. He will try to get inside. He does. And nine on an inside shot is a save and a left wing. So McLeod comes away with the puck for Edmonton. And we have a defensive line change. So um, let's see here. That means that the new blue liners for Edmonton will be Matthias Eckholm at left defenseman and Philip Broberg at right defenseman. And for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights, the left defenseman will be Shea Theodore and the right defenseman will be Nicholas Haig. But right now, we have a situation where Ryan McLeod has the puck and he is the, um, we'll refer to the home, and it says, lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That's Shea Theodore. He's a penetration three, so he's going to try it. And he does get inside. He has an inside shot. It's a nine, and that's going to be a save right wing. So Matthias Janmark for Edmonton has it. We're still in a 0-0 game here, folks. Um, and... Um, You've got a, a situation where this says inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Warren 
No, they're going to give it to McLeod. McLeod will take the inside shot. He gets a six, and that's going to be a save right wing. So Mark Stone comes away with it for Vegas. And that says passing L on Mark Stone is going to be inside shot, any player, great play. We're going to give it to Eichel. So Eichel has an inside shot. That is a seven. Seven on an inside shot of the goalie rating. We're going to refer to, to uh, Skinner. Skinner 11 is save any defensive player. They're going to give it to Fogel. Fogel comes away with the puck, and that says uh, lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. So that's Nicholas Haig has an outside shot. He is only a one. He's going to try to pass the puck. We'll look at the passing section, and it says... Inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Eichel again. So Eichel with another inside shot. He gets an 8, and that's going to be a rebound. We'll look at the rebound section, pick another card. And that says defense, any player with a defense rating of 2 or more. I know there has to be one. Um, there is, uh, let's see, we're going to give it to Eckholm. Matthias Eckholm has the puck. Um... Home says passing J, and that's an inside shot for the center. So Warren Fogel has an inside shot. That is an 11 on the inside shot. It's a save, and the right wing comes away. That's Mark Stone. Mark Stone with the puck, and he is the visitor. And it says opponent defense 12. Opponent defense 12 is takes the puck away. So McLeod takes the puck away from him, and we have a forward line change. So we're going to flip those over. <coughs> The new uh, offensive line for um, forward line for Vegas is Chandler Stevenson at left wing, Teddy Bluger at center, and Phil Kessel at right wing. For Edmonton, it's Evander Kane at left wing, Nick Bugstad at center, and Derek um, Derek Ryan at right wing. I believe Kane is the one who would have the puck. We look at home. It says opponent defense 12. His defense 12 is takes the puck away. So Kessel takes the puck away from Kane. And lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. The right defenseman is Philip Broberg for Edmonton. With an outside shot, he's just going to try to pass the puck because he's bad at everything. Only had one goal and he's only a one penetration. Passing is loose puck, defensive left defenseman has control. That's Shea Theodore. Shea Theodore comes away with it. He is the visiting team, and it says loose puck outside shot for opponent, and that would be the right defenseman. Again, that's Broberg. They're just going to take the outside shot. It's a seven, and seven is lose to the defensive left defenseman. So Shea Theodore has the puck. It's amazing we have a 0-0 first period between these two. Uh, Shea Theodore with it, and it says op <coughs> opponent defense 13. And that's an outside shot. Um, they are going to pass the puck. So Theodore will pass it. Passing L. Passing L is inside shot for right wing. Great pass. Phil Kessel with an inside shot. Let's see if he can break up the scoreless tie. It's a six, and that's going to be a save any defensive player. So they're going to give it to Bugstad. Bugstad now has the puck for Edmonton, and uh, that says passing K. Passing K is lose puck to the left wing, and that is how the first period is going to end zero to zero between Edmonton and Vegas. So we're back for the second period of this game between the uh, Vegas Golden Knights and the Edmonton Oilers. We've got a 0-0 tie here. The first uh, forward lines are out for both teams. So for Vegas, that's Jonathan Marsh uh William Carlson, and Ivan Barbashev. For Edmonton, it's Zach Hyman, Connor McDavid, and Kyler Yamamoto. And for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights, they're going to have their number 
one defensive matchup out there, and that's Braden McNabb at left defenseman and Zach Whitecloud at right defenseman. And for the Edmonton Oilers, they're going to have their second defensive pairing out there. That's Darnell Nurse and Evan Bouchard. So with that having been said, we'll do the face-off. As we established in the first period, the first lines uh, result in a plus one for um, Vegas. We'll roll the face off, and it's a four. And four on the face off plus one is superior right wing. So that means Ivan Barbashev is going to start with this puck. And that says lose puck possible breakaway. So we'll pick the card and see what the breakaway section says. Breakaway says left defenseman. So Darnell Nurse has a breakaway. And we will roll the dice. That is a 10. 10 on a breakaway is a save. And the right wing comes up with the puck. So that's Barbashev having it again. We look at the uh, visitor section. It says lose puck outside shot for right wing. So that's Kyler Yamamoto. He is a three penetrating. Um, they are going to try to penetrate with him. That's a one. He's inside. Easy. Five is a goalie rating. And we're going to be looking at Logan Thompson. And Logan Thompson on two is a goal one to seven. And it is not. It's a face off. So Logan Thompson makes the save. We still don't have a goal. We will have a face-off. It's a plus one again. Um, so we'll roll the dice, and it's a one plus one is superior left defenseman. So that means Braden McNabb has it for the Vegas Knights. And that says inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Carlson. Inside shot five is going to be a save in the right wing. So Kyler Yamamoto comes away with the puck. And that says passing L. Passing L is lose puck to the right wing. So Barbashev has the puck. Barbashev always seems to be in the right place so far to start the second period. And uh, what is the penalty rating across from him? And that would be Hyman. And his, his uh, penalty rating is a D. So he will take the puck away. So Zach Hyman has the puck for the Edmonton Oilers. And um, it says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That's Braden McNabb. He is only a one. So wait wait a minute. Let's see. Out, lose puck outside shot. Yeah. So um, he is going to, he's going to pass it. So Braden McNabb will try to pass the puck. And passing says, lose puck, any defensive player in control. That'll be uh, Connor McDavid. McDavid is in, in control. And then it says, passing J on his card, it's inside shot for right wing. That's Kyler Yamamoto. We will roll the dice for that. That is a five. Five is a goalie rating. And we will refer to Logan Thompson and that is an eight, which is a face-off. So it's a plus one. Plus one on the face-off, still no goal. Five is superior left defenseman. So um, Braden McNabb is going to have the puck. And it says passing L. Passing L on McNabb is loose puck to the left wing. So Zach Hyman has it, but... He has it just in time for the lines to change. So the second line for Edmonton will be out there as well as the second line for Vegas. So that means that right now for Vegas out on the ice, on the front line, we've got Michael Amadio, Nicholas Waugh, and Riley Smith. And for the um, Edmonton Oilers, we have Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Leon Dreisaitl, and Clem Costin. And Nugent Hopkins has the puck. And home says, lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That is Braden McNabb. He is going to pass the puck. 
And passing says, lose puck to opponent. So he's going to lose the puck to Evan Bouchard. Evan Bouchard has control. Home says, outside shot for right wing. That is Costin. Costin is a three trying to get inside. They will roll the dice. He does not get inside. So he loses the puck to Amido. And he has the puck, and it says opponent defense 13. Opponent defense 13 is outside shot. So Amadio, Amadio has an outside shot. He'll try to penetrate. He has a four. He makes it inside. He gets a four on the roll, and that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it. And that is Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins has the puck. That says opponent defense 13. Opponent defense 13 is takes the puck away for Riley Smith, and the defensive lines will change. That means that um, the Edmonton Oilers will send out their um, – they're going to send out their first pairing, so it's going to be Brett Kulak and Cody Ceci. And uh, they, the Knights will send out their second pairing, and that's going to be Alec Martinez at left defenseman and Petrangelo at right defenseman. But right now, Riley Smith has the puck, and it says passing K for him. Passing K is inside shot for the center. That's Nicholas Wah. He, has a, he rolls a five, and that's going to be a save left wing. So Nugent Hopkins has the puck. And uh, Holmes says possible breakaway. I will pick the card for the breakaway. Breakaway says uh, center if um, breakaway penetration is two or more. And it is. So Leon Dreisaitl has a breakaway shot. That is an eight, which is a rebound. We have saw plenty of those in the first period. And it says offensive center. So Dreisaitl has his own breakaway shot or and it's a goalie plus so it's going to be a save and uh face off now um dry is a plus three and nicholas y is a plus one so this is going to be a plus two on the face off uh, and the reason it was not a goal is because it would only have been a goal on um on a power play and there was no power play in in place so 10 plus 2 is superior right wing. So that means Clem Costin has the puck for Edmonton. And uh, that is a passing K. Passing K is loose puck to the center. So Nicholas Wah has the puck. And um, that says opponent defense 13. And that takes the puck away. So Dreisaitl takes the puck away from Wah, and now he has control of it. Home says passing K, and that's an inside shot for the left wing. That's Nugent Hopkins taking an inside shot. That is a five. It's a goalie rating. We're going to refer to Thompson. That is an eight, and it's going to be a face-off. <laughs> Still no goal between these two high-scoring offenses. The defenses are stifling the offense. All right, so we've got a plus two advantage for Edmonton, and uh, that's an 18. 18 plus two is inferior right defenseman. So Alex Petrangelo has it for Vegas. And that says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. The right defenseman is Cody Ceci, and he is going, he has terrible uh, chances for a goal. Um, on an outside shot, so he's going to pass. Passing says inside shot for right wing. So the right wing, Clem Costin, has an inside shot. That is an 11 on an inside shot. It's a save, and the right defenseman comes away with it. That's Petrangelo. Petrangelo has the puck, and it says uh, opponent defense 14. And that is going to be an outside shot. Petrangelo with an outside shot. He is a three at trying to penetrate. They'll try it. He doesn't. And so he loses it to um, Brett Kulak. And now we have offensive lines changing. And so that means that for Edmonton, we are going to have 
Um, we're going to have Ryan McLeod, Darren or Warren Fogle, and Matthias Janmark out there. And for Vegas, they're going to have. Um, let's see. Vegas is going to have William Carrier, Jack Eichel, and Mark Stone out on the ice. And right now, Brett Kulak has control of the puck. And uh, for Edmonton, and that says opponent defense 14. That takes the puck away. So Petrangelo takes the puck from Kulak. Visitor says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That's Brett Kulak with a possible outside shot. I'm just going to roll it. He's just going to take the outside shot. Sometimes you just got to do that. But it's a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it. Left defenseman is Alec Martinez. Um, and his, uh, the card for him, says opponent defense 13. CC is an outside shot. Martinez with an outside shot. Again, we're just going to let him let it rip. And that's a seven, which is lose to any defensive player. So he the puck is going to go to Warren Fogle, and the defensive lines will change. So that means that for these guys, for Edmonton, it's going to be um, the defensive line pairing is going to be Shea Theodore and... Or no, wait a minute. No, that's for uh, Vegas. So for Vegas, the defensive pairing is going to be Shea Theodore and Nicholas Haig. And for um, Edmonton, let's see, I'm getting the sides mixed up here. Uh for Edmonton, it's going to be uh, Matthias Eckholm and Philip Broberg out on the ice. And Warren Fogle has control of the puck. And um, Fogle says, lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Jack Eichel. He'll try to penetrate inside. He does not. And so the puck goes back to Fogle. And... Um, that says passing L. Passing L is lose puck to the left wing. William Carrier has it. And um, that says outside shot for center. That's Jack Eichel. He'll try to penetrate inside. He does. That's a seven. Seven is a goalie rating. And so we're looking at Stuart Skinner and rolling it. And seven is a save either defenseman. So he makes the save, and we're going to give it to Eckholm. So Eckholm has control of the puck. And for him, the home, it's across from him, penalty C or D. And uh, penalty is a D, so uh, Nicholas Haig takes the puck away from Eckholm. And then he has a passing K, which is lose puck to the center. He loses the puck to Warren Fogle. And the forward lines are going to change. And that means that for Vegas, they're going to send out Evander, or for Edmonton, they're going to send out Evander Kane, Nick Bugstad, and Derek Ryan. And for the Vegas Golden Knights, they're going to send out Chandler Stevenson, Teddy uh, Bluger, and Phil Kessel. But uh, Bugstad has control of the puck. And across from him, a D penalty, uh, penalty D. So yeah, um, Teddy Bluger takes the puck away from Bugstad. And so now Vegas has control of it. And then that says a two minute penalty for anybody. So a uh, two minute penalty on Bugstad. And we will, we've got our first uh, penalty of the game and we're going to uh, do two cards for the penalty. And then we're going to roll the dice. See what the penalty is. It's a four. 
four is if the right defenseman, let's see. If the right defenseman is a two or more, and he is, so uh, that means there's going to be an outside shot for the left defenseman. So that is Eckholm with an outside shot. Or wait a minute. Um, no, it's uh, for, this is, um, yeah, the penalty is for Vegas. So outside shot for Shea Theodore. That is a seven. Save any player. So we move on to the next one. Outside shot for right defenseman. So that's Nicholas Haig. Nicholas Haig gets an eight, and that's going to be a save and a rebound. So we move on to the next thing, and that's going to be an outside shot for the left wing. That's Chandler Stevenson. Chandler Stevenson with a seven outside shot is going to be lose to the right defenseman. And then finally, inside shot for any player, that's going to be Phil Kessel. Kessel will take the final Inside shot, it's a nine, and it's going to be a save, defensive center. And so Bugstad comes away with it with the penalty ending. And this is the last card of the period. And that says, lose puck possible breakaway. So we will pick the card for a breakaway. And that says, right wing, if breakaway penetration is four. That's Kessel, and it isn't. And so that is the end of the second period, and we still have ourselves a 0-0 game after two periods between these two high-scoring juggernaut teams. Well, we're back for the third period between the 2022-23 uh, Vegas Golden Knights and the 2022-23 Edmonton Oilers. And so far, the score is an unbelievable zero to zero. Both goaltenders, Logan Thompson and Stuart Skinner, have been on top of their game. And more importantly, the defenses have been on top of their game. The first period saw a flurry of rebound shots against Logan Thompson, which he um, knocked every one of them away. And uh, so we're here in a zero zero game. The first lines for everybody for everything will be out there. The Edmonton uh, Oilers will have Zach Hyman, Connor McDavid, Kyler Yamamoto, Brett Kulak, and Cody Ceci out on the ice. And the Vegas Golden Knights will have... Um, actually, they're going to start with their second line out on the ice. They're going to start out with William Carrier, Jack Eichel, and Mark Stone out on the ice. And their number one defense, no, their number two, number two defense, Alec Martinez and uh, Alex Petrangelo. Uh, also, the line changes, the forward line changes will be less frequent. There's going to be one fewer, and they're going to be a little longer in between because this is the third period. And uh, we want to get a score out of the way because I really don't want to be doing uh, the uh, extra five-minute four-on-four period and then a shootout. But if we have to, we will do that. So uh, Jack Eichel's out there. He's a plus one. Connor McDavid is a plus two. So you've got a plus one on the uh, initial face-off. That is a 15 plus one inferior left wing. So again, for the third straight period in a row to start the period, the uh, Vegas Golden Knights will start with the puck. And we'll flip the card. And it says outside shot for right wing or center. And that'll be the right, it'll actually be the right wing. Mark Stone with an outside shot. He is a penetration four. He'll try to penetrate. He gets an 18, so he doesn't. And that's part of the problem, too. Guys have tried to penetrate and not gotten inside. So Zach Hyman for Edmonton now has the puck. Holmes says, lose puck outside shot for left wing. That is William Carrier. He is a four. He will try to penetrate inside. He does not get inside. So Kyler Yamamoto has the puck back. And Holmes says, any across from him penalty C or D? 
It is a D, or wait a minute. It is a C, well, it's a C. It's William Carrier, but that's still a C, so he does take the puck. Um, so Vegas has the puck back. Passing J, passing J on that is inside shot for center. So Jack Eichel has an inside shot. We're going to roll that bones, and it's going to be a save left wing. So Zach Hyman comes up with it for Edmonton. Uh, this says outside shot for any player. Uh, that's going to be McDavid, but McDavid's going to try to penetrate inside, and he does make it. So McDavid with an inside shot, you don't want to see that. But it's still a save, and the right wing comes up with it. So that's Mark Stone. <laughs> Mark Stone comes away with the puck. And that says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. So that's Brett Kulak. Kulak will just roll the bones. That is a six, and that's going to be a save left wing. Goes to William Carrier. Carrier has the puck. And that says opponent defense 12. Opponent defense 12 on Yamamoto is takes the puck away. So Kyler Yamamoto takes the puck away from Carrier. And now the home team has possession. And that says opponent defense 12. And that would be a takes the puck away. So Carrier takes the puck back away from Yamamoto. And now uh, Vegas has it. And then that says outside shot for any player. They'll give it to Eichel. Eichel will try to move inside. He does get inside. And that is an eight. And an eight on an inside shot is a rebound. So we're going to look at the rebound. We'll pick the card and look at the rebound card. And that um, that says defensive right wing if defense rating is two or more. That's Yamamoto. His defense rating is two or more, so he takes the puck away. Uh, home team says lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's William Carrier. He is a four penetration. He'll try to get inside. He doesn't. So Kyler Yamamoto takes the puck back. This is going to be 0-0 zero, zero going into extra uh, periods, I, I, I think. Uh, home team says lose puck, possible breakaway. So we'll take a look at the breakaway section and see what happens as a result. Center, if breakaway penetration is 4. you got to believe it is, and that's Jack Eichel. So he has a breakaway shot. That's a seven. Seven on the breakaway shot is a goalie rating. So we're going to look at Stuart Skinner. And that's a five. And it's a goal! And that's the first score that we have of the game. And it is for Vegas. Jack Eichel scoring the first goal of the game. And so we will take and uh, do the forward line change. Uh, Vegas will send out um, Chandler Stevenson, Teddy Bluger, and Phil Kessel. While the Edmonton Oilers are going to send out Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Leon Dr Dreisaitl, and Clem Costin. And we have a face-off to do. Dreisaitl is a plus three and Bluger is a plus two, so it's a plus one. Um, and we will roll the dice, roll the bones. It's a six. Six plus one is a superior right defenseman. And so that means that Edmonton will come away with it to start with Cody Cece having the puck. And home saying, oh, it's going to be a definite penalty. Definite penalty this time on Vegas. So we're going to pick the two cards. That would eat up the penalty. And then we're going to roll the dice for the penalty. And that is a five. Five is if the right defenseman is a three or more. Um, let's see. Defensively, he is. So um, it's an outside shot for the left wing is the first thing. So that's going to be an outside shot for Nugent Hopkins. He gets an eight, and that's going to be a re rebound possible deflection, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to move to the next thing. And uh, the other one is an inside shot for the right wing. So 
Clem Costin has an inside shot. That is an 11, and that's going to be a goal, 1-12. to 12. And that's a goal, and he ties the game on a power play. <laughs> Clem Costin ties this game as immediately as it um, they got the lead. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said, we're headed for extra time. Get ready. Buckle in. Buckle in. All right, we're going to take the uh, face off. Still a plus one. And, or wait a minute. No, I don't pick that yet. Um, plus one, and we'll roll the dice for the face off. That's a seven. Seven and a plus one is the superior left wing. So Nugent Hopkins comes away with it. And um, this says, across from him, anything but a D penalty. That's Kessel. Kessel is a D, though. So he takes the puck away, and the defensive lines will change. The uh, Golden Knights are going to send out uh, Braden McNabb and Zach Whitecloud. And Edmonton is just going to send out Darnell Nurse and Yvonne Evan. I keep calling him Yvonne. Uh, Evan Bouchard and uh, Kessel with the puck. And that says opponent defense 13, and that takes the puck away. So Nugent Hopkins takes the puck away from Kessel. And um, uh, for home, it says passing K. It's an inside shot for the right wing. That's Phil Kessel. And he, uh, or wait a minute, uh, no, same team. <laughs> um so, yeah, so it's an inside shot for Clem Costin, not, not Kessel. Seven inside shot is a save right wing. So now Kessel has the puck. And we will pick the uh, card, and it says lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Nugent Hopkins. He's a four. He'll try to penetrate. He does get inside. He has an inside shot six. That's a goalie rating. Let's look at, um, at uh, Skinner. That's a seven, and it's a goal! Nugent Hopkins gives Edmonton the lead. Now all of a sudden, the defense has just left. <laughs> the defense has said, listen, we're, we turned a good game over to you guys. Now we're leaving. So uh, Edmonton takes a 2-1 to one lead here. And we are going to roll for the faceoff again. Now the faceoff, it's plus 3, uh, plus 2, so it's still a plus 1. Plus 117 on the face-off. And that's going to be inferior left defenseman. So um, Braden McNabb will start off with the puck. And he comes up with a uh, passing K. Yeah, passing K. And that's lose puck to the center. So Dreisaitl comes up with the puck. And Holmes says, opponent defense 13. That is an outside shot. Bluger allows Dreisaitl an outside shot. He'll try to move inside. He doesn't, so he loses the puck back to Bluger. Bluger now has it. And Visitor says, opponent defense 13, that's Dreisaitl. He takes the puck away. So Dreisaitl takes the puck away from Bluger. Um, and then and then it says, outside shot for left wing. That's Nugent Hopkins. He'll try to move inside. He does get inside. And he gets an 8, which is a rebound. We'll pick the rebound card. The rebound reading is... Defensive center if defense rating is two or more. And it is. So Bluger takes the puck back. And that says outside shot for left wing. That is Stevenson. Stevenson is a three. He'll try to move inside. He, I'm going to re-roll it because it was on its side. And he loses it. Loses it to Clem Costin. Clem Costin has the puck, and that says inside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Dreisaitl. 
And that is a six on the inside shot. It's a goalie rating plus. So that means it would only have been a goalie rating on a, uh, if they were on the power play, they aren't. So they're going to have a face off. We'll do the face off. It's a plus one for, um, well, you know what? We'll do the forward line change first and then we'll see where that puts us. Um, Edmonton is going to send out um, Ryan McLeod, Warren Fogle, and Jan Mark. And the, uh, the Golden Knights are going to send out um, Marcia So, William Carlson, and Yvonne Barbashev. And Carlson is a plus three, and Fogel is a zero, so you got a plus three here. I don't even think there is a plus three on the chart. Yeah, there isn't. I'll just use plus two. Uh, that's a 12. 12 plus two is superior any player. So um, Carlson, um, Carlson will start with the puck. And uh, it says passing L, passing L is inside shot, any player on a great pass. They will give it to Marcheseau. Marcheseau with the inside shot is a seven, and that's going to be a goalie rating. And we will look at Stuart Skinner for the goalie rating. That's an eight, and it's a rebound. Rebound says... Defensive left defenseman if his defense if if his rating is two or more. Um and it better be, and it is. So Darnell Nurse takes the puck away. And that says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. Right defenseman is Zach Whitecloud. He's gonna try to pass. <coughs> Passing says, lose puck, defensive center has control. That's Warren Fogel. Fogel is in control here, and that says passing J. Inside shot for center. But I'm going to um, give it to the uh, left wing since it was a pass, so it couldn't be Fogel. <clears throat> so McLeod will take the inside shot. That is a 10, and that's going to be an, a save, and the left wing comes away with it. That's Marcheseau. Marcheseau has the puck, and it says, lose puck outside shot for center. That's Fogel. Fogel, they're playing with house money here. They got a goal lead. They're going to take the outside shot. It's a six. Save left defenseman. McNabb comes away with the puck, and the defensive lines change. Um... And so the Vegas Knights will send out um, Eckholm and uh, Philip Broberg, and Eckholm will have possession of the puck. And the uh, Edmonton Oilers are going to send out Shea Theodore and Nicholas Haig. And um, I am also going to say... That, well, no, we're not going to do it just yet. We won't do it. We're not there yet. Um, so anyway, um, Edmonton, or wait a minute, no. No. Vegas, let's see. Where is the, the other defense? I got to have the other defense for... Uh, All right, well, I don't know what happened. We're going to go with, uh, we're just going to go back to, um, they're going to go, Vegas is going to go back to Zach. I don't know where the third line went for Vegas. So we're going to go with Alec Martinez and um, Alex Petrangelo, which they probably should anyway. Um and uh, I don't know what happened there, so we're just going to pick the... We're going to say that Martinez has the puck. Um, and it says, lose puck outside shot for right wing. So 
Jan Mark has the puck and you pick the card and it says lose puck outside shot for right wing. That's Barbashev. He's a three. He's going to try to penetrate inside. He does not get inside. So Ryan McLeod has it. And we're down where we would pull the goal, where uh, Vegas would pull the goalie. So they are going to do that. They'll pull the goalie. We're going to treat this like a power play. And so what I'm going to do is, um, let's see. Well, all right, we'll do the outside shot first um, for the right wing. Oh, wait a minute. No, yeah, he lost the puck back to McLeod. Um, so McLeod has the puck right now. Uh, huh, this is tough because there's only two cards left. If I flip a card, there's not enough time for a full power play. Um, I'll do it until until um, Vegas gets possession of the puck. Lose puck outside shot for center. So now William Carlson has the puck. Now we're going to do a power play, and um, we'll uh, roll the dice. And uh, I don't know who the extra skater is going to be. Um, we'll go with... Um, We'll go with, I guess, Phil Kessel. So Phil Kessel will be the extra skater for Vegas. And uh, and we rolled an 18. 18. If two or more four-rated defensive players. So let's see. And it's probably not, and it isn't, no. So, one or less four-rated defensive players, outside shot for the right defenseman. And again, this is going to end the game once this is resolved. So, outside shot for right defenseman, and that's going to be uh, Petrangelo. That is a seven, and that's going to be a save center. So, outside shot for center... That's Carlson. Carlson with a six on an outside shot is a save any player. Uh, outside shot for right wing. That's Barbashev getting an outside shot. And that's going to be an 11. That's a save defensive left defenseman. And um, inside shot for any player. That is going to be... Uh, that's going to be Barbashev. So Barbashev with an inside shot. That's a seven. Seven is a goalie rating. And we're going to look at Skinner. Roll the bones. It's a six. It's a goal. They tied the game on the last card of the third period on a man advantage. And so now we do have Barbashev scoring. So... We are going to be doing a, uh, guess what? We're going to be doing a five-minute um, five uh, overtime here. And I'm just going to change lines kind of intermittently. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to go with nine cards. Let's make sure none of them is, yeah, well, one of them is a forward line change. And one of them is a defensive line change. So now we're down to seven cards. I think seven cards is good. We'll just reshuffle these. And um, and we're going to do the uh, overtime period. Um, the Edmonton Oilers are going to go with their first line, first line on defense, which is Nurse and Bouchard. And they're going to go with 
their uh, first line which on offense, which is McDavid, Yamamoto, and Hyman. The um, Golden Knights are going to go with their first line, I believe. If I can find their first line. I cannot find anybody's lines here. Um, that's not their first. How is that their first line? This was supposed to make it easier on me, but it is it really is not. Um, okay, they're going to go with their second line. So Vegas is going to have um, Amido, um, Amadio, Nicholas Waugh, and Riley Smith out there. And uh, for defensive pairing, they're going to have... Um, they're just going to they're going to have Shea Theodore and Nicholas Haig, except really they're only going to have Theodore because there's only four people should be playing. So I guess any defensive rate uh, um, reference is just going to be Shea Theodore, and for Edmonton it's just going to be Nurse. It isn't going to be Bouchard. So we're going to uh, go ahead and do the face off. Um, Nicholas Waugh is a plus one, and McDavid is a plus two, so it's a plus one on the face-off. That is a three. Three is, um, three plus one is superior left wing. So that is Zach Hyman for, um, Edmonton. And that says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. And so really it's just Shea Theodore. He's the only defenseman. He has an outside shot. He's going to try to pass. Passing says passing L, which is in inside shot for the right wing, which is Riley Smith on a great pass. That is a six inside shot, and it's going to be a save right wing. So Yamamoto comes away with the puck. Home says passing K, inside shot for center. That's McDavid. McDavid with an inside shot could end this game right now. Five is going to be a goalie rating. And we're going to look at Logan Thompson. And that's a nine, and that's going to be a save any defensive player. So they are going to give the puck to Riley Smith. He has it for Vegas. And what we have right now, friends, is a lose puck outside shot for center. That's McDavid. McDavid is going to try to work his way inside. He does get inside. That's a seven. Seven on an inside is a save any player. So they're going to give the puck to Riley Smith. Riley Smith has the puck. Across from him, penalty is a D. So that's Hyman taking the puck away from Riley Smith. He now has the puck. And that says lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Riley Smith. He is a four. He'll try to penetrate. That's a three. He gets inside. That's a nine. Nine on an inside shot is a save. And the center comes away with it. And that's McDavid. And Holmes says passing J, and that's going to be an inside shot for the right wing. That's Yamamoto with an inside shot. That is a five. That's going to be a goalie rating. We're going to be looking at Logan Thompson. That is an eight, and that's going to be a face-off. So face-off is a plus one. We'll roll it. Four on a plus one is superior right wing. So that means Yamamoto's got the puck on the last of the uh, overtime, four, the four-on-four four overtime. And that's going to be a passing J, which is an inside shot for the left wing. That's Zach Hyman. Last card. That is a five. It's a goalie rating. We're going to be looking at Logan Thompson and rolling it. 11 is a goal! <laughs> On the last card of the overtime, Zach Hyman gives Edmonton the overtime win. This was really crazy good. This was one of the best games I think I've ever played of Stratomatic Hockey. Um, Edmonton wins this game 3-2 to two in the, the five-minute four-on-four overtime. 
3-2 win for Edmonton. And that's going to be it for me. Sportsmanzy Bob Zolke signing off.